What's up guys, I'm Black Ops Amazing and welcome to another Call of Duty video. So today I'm going to be talking about the next COD, whether that's COD 10, Call of Duty Ghosts. I'm going to be talking more about that in just a second. But just before we carry on with this video, if you do go on to enjoy it by the Aaron all I ask is for you to hit the like button in the face. That really helps out my videos. And click the subscribe button on screen or just below the video if you do want to see some more content like this. Enjoy. So just before I carry on with the video and tell everyone about this new latest Call of Duty, it's going to be awesome. Uh, the credit needs to go to Drifter because he was the first one to upload this to the internet and YouTube and share all of this information with everyone. So again, the link to his channel will be in the description. IGN have also made an article on it and other big websites. So again, I will leave the links to them in the description. Activision's next Call of Duty title is reportedly called Call of Duty Ghosts, not Ghost, but Ghosts with an S on the end. Again, if you just want to check out that spelt, it will be in the title. But the rumour comes via a YouTuber, which, like I've said, is called Drifted. Again, the links to his channel will be in the description. He claims that a very legitimate source provided him with information regarding the game's announcement. Now, according to Drift, the Ghost will be straying away from the Modern Warfare brand. It will use similar present-day weaponry, although the game is set in the future, but a plot will force the characters to use weapons from the past, which is present-day weapons. And it will be some kind of plot that will force the characters to use weapons that we actually use now. So it won't be future weaponry, maybe like Black Ops 2 when we got the claw and all different kind of weaponry like that, like the sniper that could see through walls. We probably won't be getting that one, we're just getting weapons that we get today uh, that we got in Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. Now this new Call of Duty, Call of Duty Ghost, will be changing a lot of things. It will change the player's movement, which will allow them to dash while sliding. So just imagine you can run, then press the crouch button. And it's similar to dolphin diving, but you can actually slide on your feet. And while you're doing this, you can also shoot, which is something you couldn't do whilst you were dolphin diving. Also, they're adding peeking around corners, which I don't know how useful that will actually be. And rolling from side to side while prone, which is, again, kind of useful. You know, you're in one prone, you can press A or something, then roll to the other side, similar to Gears of War. Now here's a bit of multiplayer information. Ghosts will feature dynamic loading screens, which is awesome, such as repelling from a helicopter or breaking through a window. You know, that's really awesome. So instead of starting your multiplayer match just counting down from 10 to 1, you can actually start off in a helicopter and you repel down into the map instead, you know, just counting down them boarding, them boring, sorry, loading screens. You've got something really awesome now. Now they're also looking into adding destructive environments into the single player which I think they are going to actually do if this is the new Call of Duty, if this is legitimate information. But they might also implement this into multiplayer. Now if you know in Battlefield you can shoot down walls with tanks or shoot it with a gun or grenades or whatever. You've got loads of destructive things within Battlefield so that's something they're looking into adding into Call of Duty as well so that should be awesome. Tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section below but Spec Ops is also being replaced with a new game mode which is awesome as well because I did not like that game mode. Now this part of the information really interests me. The new Call of Duty Call of Duty Ghosts will reportedly only be on the next generation consoles and PC which fits into previous rumours that Infinity Ward is creating the next generation Call of Duty title. Now for me this sounds really strange, releasing the game only on the next generation consoles isn't going to make Activision a lot of money. If the game's going to be coming out in November, not everyone is going to be having the new consoles in November, you know, they're going to have to wait until Christmas, maybe even next year, so a lot of people aren't going to be able to buy it and play it, and Activision have always made Call of Duty, you know, the best selling title, uh, you know, the first date comes out, it's been selling a lot of, lot of copies, and only selling on the next generation consoles it isn't going to do as well. Now for me what would make more sense is if they release it on the next generation consoles and the consoles that we've got now. By doing that they would make a lot more money. Now the only reason I can think of is that the new Call of Duty wants to go on the next generation consoles is that the current generation couldn't actually handle the new Call of Duty. Now I think that on the current generation consoles we've got to stay at 60 frames per second I think. And maybe the next Call of Duty actually needs more than that because we've got the destructible environments, we've got a lot more new things, it maybe the graphics are even better, we've got to go on the new consoles so maybe that's a reason why it can't go on the current generation. But that's it for this video guys, I do hope you enjoyed it, there's a lot of awesome information here, if you guys enjoyed any parts out of this video or if you do want to speak to me about some information on this, do put that in the comment section below or you can just private email me on YouTube, I do read all of my messages. But I hope you enjoyed the video guys, remember to hit the like button if you did enjoy, rate it whatever you feel this video deserves, the link to Drifter will be in the description of this video, really awesome, glad to click the subscribe button on screen now or just below this video if you want to see some more awesome videos like this. Thanks for watching guys and until next time, peace.